Hello everybody and welcome back to another reaction video from Out On That Line. And today I'm going to be reacting to the song Girls by Lizzo. So I uh, I did a reaction to Lizzo's About Damn Time. I remember being a little more positive. This happens to a lot of my reaction videos where at first I'll hear something and unless it's there's like a glaring obvious error, I, I might like it a little more at first and then when I revisit it, I'm like, did I like this? I'm not sure I like this. And um, that kind of happened to me with About Damn Time. I've I've liked Lizzo. I, I respect that she's a multi-talented performer, um, has a great sense of humor. So I'm, I'm still on board as far as I can tell. So let's see what is going on with Lizzo and girls. Oh, we got a little uh -huh. Beastie Boys. Hold my bag, bitch. Hold my bag. Do you see this shit? I'm a spaz. I'm about to knock somebody out. Yo, with my best friend. She the only one I know to talk me off the deep end. Cause that's my girl. We codependent. If she with it, then I'm with it. Yeah, we tussle. Mind your business. So, 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 That's my girl. We CEOs and dancing like a CEO. We about to throw them bows. Let's fuck it up. extremely disappointed. Okay, so for reference, the first time I heard Lizzo was, I'm crying cause I love you. Bah, dun, 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 dun. That was the first Lizzo I ever heard, was the first track off that album. And and, and it, it was one of those things that stops you in your tracks. Uh, another example I can think of is Other Side by Perfume Genius. First time you listen to that song, whack! It hits you and you're like, wow! I either haven't heard anything like this before in the case of that song, or I haven't heard anything with this much passion in it in a long time, like Lizzo. Uh, I'm crying because I love you. She's so talented. She has a killer voice. She can dance. She's classically trained in the flute. She's funny. She just has so much talent, and you would not know that listening to this song. First of all, it's two minutes long. It, you're wasting your dung 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 your, your Beastie Boys sample. That was just like, that faded into the background. It, it's a totally, like, I understand it's an anthem for like, yeah, my girls, they have my back, I have theirs. Like, it's a female empowerment jam. That's, again, that's great. But it's done in a very ham-fisted, surface-level way. It's just not, like... It feels like she wrote this on the in the car on the way to the recording session. Like, ah, I gotta come up with something. Uh, blah, and, and just kind of spit this out. There's no showcase for her voice. There's no showcase for her sense of humor. It's just her kind of talking through a lot of it. It's just not a good indication of her talent. It's overproduced. It's boring it's laborious it doesn't have that upbeat kind of sense of blame it on the juice like it's such a letdown as as someone who enjoys lizzo 
Why do I keep having these existential crises with these pop stars? Dua Lipa, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, like either not doing anything different or doing something different that is a massive step back, step down. What Lizzo has done here is a major step back slash step down for her. I don't, I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy not liking the things from the people that I like. So, uh, yeah, this sucked. My disappointed ass is gonna leave that here. Um, in the meantime, you should let me know what you thought of girls and suggest stuff that you would like Jeff or me to react to in the future. Make sure you're subscribed and notifications are turned on. And until next time, thank you for watching.